This is my another batch of rocks I have. This one is a big piece of watermelon, which I made. It's like, that's what it is. It's like a big slice of, not really a slice, but it's like a piece of watermelon. Like a, like a piece that you kind of break off, kind of. More ladybugs. And then a lady, which I've created right here. Interesting. The flower. Which is an interesting thing I've created. And I have this one, which I was showing before, but I showed only the the bottom of it. This one with the name on it. This little leaf. This one was something that I just created a design. I wasn't thinking of any particular thing. When I did that. And this one, here's one that's actually an old one. I actually painted this one like several years ago, but I've decided just recently to put varnish on it. I just put varnish on it like a few days ago. But I painted these years ago. And I have one that I think is kind of an unusual, unique kind of thing. Which, this one is like other trees I've painted, except I didn't paint the background of this. It's just a natural rock color. This I painted to make it kind of different from just having the green, which I usually would paint that green. Um, I have other things here, which I've shown these before. This one is eh, blue rock. And this one is like a little mountain with sun and clouds and whatnot. I, I painted this one actually several years ago, but I, again, just like the other one, I just recently put varnish on it because it wasn't really painted with any varnish. So that's that's all I wanted to say. Just my famous little rock collection. Which just I guess it's starting to become famous and very popular. And a lot of people love these. People when I get them, everybody wants one. But, you know, at some point I'm going to sell these. I have, I have never sold a rock, but at some point in the future I will actually sell these at some art fair during the summer. So that's all I want to say.